So we're on our staycation, which means instead of going out of town, we're supposed to be doing fun stuff. So here on the second day of staycation, what's the fun stuff? Costco. My wife is taking me shopping, furniture shopping and sh shopping here. So I'm in the car. She went in to buy the dog's food from Costco. I stayed in the car. And I read the scripture readings for today. Notice that uh, in 1 Kings, um, Ahab is behaving like a baby. And Jezebel says, what's the matter with you? Remember that he was denied the vineyard he wants to buy from, from Naboth because he's, Naboth said, I cannot sell you the inheritance of my ancestors. He's not looking just to make a quick buck. But Ahab is a spoiled narcissist. Hmm. I wonder if any of our leaders have been spoiled narcissists. You will see them, not only in the church, but in politics. So Jezebel says, don't worry about it. You're the king. It's good to be the king. I'm going to arrange it so you get what you want. If you watch American Greed, one of my favorite shows, you find out that the scammers and con artists make millions and millions by taking advantage of people, and they spend this money on stupid superficial things, like cars. At any rate, we also see an example of that in the reading from Acts. Paul, um, Paul exercises a demon or some sort of evil spirit from the prophet, the girl who goes around telling the truth saying Paul and Silas are worshipers of the true God. He exercises her because he's annoyed by her because she won't shut up, even though she's telling the truth about them. The spirit leaves her and she's no longer a prophetess. Now, she's got owners. She's a slave of some sort. And she's been making the owners money off of her prophecies. And they are really upset that the spirit is gone and their, their cash cow has been milked dry and won't give any more milk. And so they foment this uprising against Paul and Silas, who are beaten by rods. And uh, it's all because they took away, they took away the source of income. You know, you might think as teenagers that maybe the most uh, powerful temptation that human beings face is sexual but really, when you look at the world, people are far more motivated by greed than they are by sex. I mean, people commit sexual sins, but it's the sins of greed that usually create a lot more trouble. Just look at the shallowness of Ahab, king of Israel, and his wife Jezebel, and of the people who made sure that Paul and Silas were punished. Meanwhile, I got to do more shopping with my wife because her idea of a staycation is grab your husband, make him go shopping with you. I'm her cash cow, baby. I'll tell you that right now. All these classes I teach at Homeschool Connections, it pays for our trips to Costco, as you can see behind me.